there's there's the motion picture capital, and then there's the actual city. Most right. of, most of the stuff that goes on in the motion picture industry no longer happens within the city of Hollywood. It's been moved out across L.A. to Burbank, the San Fernando Valley, all the big companies like Warner Brothers, Universal. <laughs> but when you say Hollywood in general, you're talking about an association. The you know the the um, philosophy as the motion picture capital. You know, and it's filled with secret societies. And the conspiracy research I did was attached to those secret societies. So I was, so I was playing ball in their turf. Right. So uh, when you were doing this research, um, what were you in Michigan when uh, you, you attracted their attention? I mean, I had been doing the research, you know, all my life, but. I, I attracted their attention through YouTube, and part of, part of the time, yeah, I was in uh, Michigan, the majority of the time. Okay, okay. So, um, and how long ago was that when uh, you were experiencing stalking? When I was experiencing gang stalking? Uh, you know, the gang stalking, see, it's tricky with the gang stalking because I didn't know I was actually being gang stalked at first. I thought this was just another attempt on my life. And that was about a year ago it started, but it wasn't until, like, uh, January that I was able to really figure out that it was gang stalking. I went through a period where I was hiding inside my mother's house for a month. Um, you know, the thing about it is, is now if I go somewhere, you know, I'm still followed and it, it's, it's not just gang stalking. Um, the type of things that I, I came into a knowledge of the where the things I have awareness of, you know, the places I've been, the things I've seen, the things I know about, it's a situation now where they, um, the powers that be really don't like people around me who, who they don't want privy to that information. See, I, I'm not a politician you know, and so I don't have a clearance. And so they don't want people, I, I can say whatever I want to say, if I want to. And they don't want people around me. The President of the United States of America, there's certain places he can't go, because he doesn't have the clearance. Do you know that? What, the President, you mean? The President of the United States of America, there's certain military bases he can't even go to, because he doesn't have the clearance. Right, 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 yeah, there's certain information that he... He, he can't... Right, so people think the president knows everything. He can't even go there. Some little guy, some little guy in the military who's a sergeant can kick him off the base. He can't go there. He ain't got the clearance. There's people that cannot come around me because they don't have the clearance, and because I'm not, because I'm not a part of any group or affiliate or anything. I'm heavily monitored, so they make sure that certain people aren't around me because certain people don't, certain people don't have the clearance to know what I know. And so that's part. So that's part of it. Okay. So, um, so you are you saying that you have access to uh, certain types of confidential information? Through my experience of conspiracy research, I've been able to discover information that civilians are not supposed to know about, and it could cost you. It could cost you your life. There's things I could tell you right now over this phone that could cost you your life. It's not a joke. Wow. If you, you think I'm joking, you you it, there's certain things I could tell you, you would be gang stalked just as quick as me. Huh. And, and, this is and it can happen, and it can happen to anybody. The former head of the Los Angeles FBI, Ted Gunderson, who was head of the FBI for over 20 years, personal friend of Ronald Reagan, he got gang stalked. It can happen to anybody. They don't care who you are. Yeah, I was able. I, I was able to use my experience to benefit me. 
Most people break down and they get scared and they don't know what to do and they go to other people for help. I went to God for help and I was able to use the experience to benefit my life. I guess what I was asking, if you, if you would, you know, could share, you know, what you did, if you feel like you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can. You just interact with the people. When the people are following you, you start waving at them, you start talking to them. A lot of times, they, you know, you go through stages and you slowly break free of the grip. Usually it's the fear that keeps people scared. People are afraid of that the gang stalkers will retaliate against them if they get more free. It's, it's, a, it's sort of a psychological type of imprisonment. And so I just started talking to them. I started approaching the females and telling them they were attractive and stuff, who were gang stalking me. I started waving at the guys. And now it gets to the point to where I go out in public, I feel more free than the people who are gang stalking me. So, um, what about, um, do they like, harass you like, on a job or anything? Or, or at school or, or whatever, wherever? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if they can. If they can... You know, I've had my I've had my food drugged at certain restaurants. Um, I've had electronical. There's there's such thing as electronical harassment. There's electronical weapons. Oh, right, yeah. Wait, are you getting that? I mean, I I, I it, it comes and goes. I have got, I gotten a lot before months ago. I used to get it all the time, and and it's coming it's coming to the point to where now, see, human beings are electromagnetic. And so a lot of these weapons, depending on what your spiritual beliefs are, if you're more in touch, like, you know, you exercise a lot, you eat healthy, and you practice meditation, a lot of times these weapons become ineffective. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. So. It's, your, it's, your belief, it's your belief in the weapons that make them strongest. It's your belief. When you believe these people have some power over you, or you actually believe in your mind that somebody can separate you from God, that's when they got you. No man can, no man can separate me from God. So, I don't care. Okay, well that's, 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 a, that's a good statement. Right. I don't, care what, I don't care what kind of weapon they come up with. God has the ultimate power over everything. And when I, I say God, I'm not Muslim, I'm not Christian, I'm not Jewish. I'm talking about the ultimate force in the universe and creation has power over everybody and everything. Right. Well, I believe that. You know. So if, you're, if, if you really believe strongly that you have a purpose in your life and you're motivated, you just chase what you want to do. If you're being gang stalked and you want to do something, you just chase it, and then as you go through the gang stalking, it will improve your ability to do what you really want to do. The gang stalking is like an obstacle. It will actually help you become better at what you want to do. Jaleel or Jamil? Jamil? Oh, Jamil. Okay, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I wasn't... Didn't no, that's... Remember. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a name. A lot of people hear it once and they don't really, you know, Jamil is kind of a tricky name. Oh. All right, well, well, that's, well, that's good, um, uh, Jamil, because uh, a lot of people, well, a lot of people feel that right now they're getting their attacks or or um, getting stronger or something. But that would be good for them to hear that you were able to um, have a certain, uh, I guess, meditation and, and beliefs that's probably that you were able to make the weapons effective. And so I think that would help a lot of people. Yeah, they, they ha see, get, they, they have to change themselves. If you, you can't be gangst, like the person you are when you first get in you're not going to overcome it in that state. You have to challenge yourself to push forward and try to become more than what you are. Like every day, I challenge myself to be phenomenal and take it a step further. That's how I overcome it is they, the program can't keep up with me because, of, you know, the stride I make. If you stay complacent, you're never going to get anywhere. It, you're always going to be in fear because, you know, they got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, that's, you know, that's good, that's encouraging, and I think a lot of people need to hear that. And there's rules, there's rules to it, like, 
I, I was the first person, I said gang stalking program. By saying program, I put jurisdiction over it. When you, when you say just gang stalking, it sounds so elusive and threatening, but when you put jurisdiction over it and say program, it, it gives you more ability. There's rules to everything. Like even on the streets, the Crips and Bloods have rules. Even in the jungle, lions, lions and tigers have rules. Everybody has rules. There's certain things that the program can do to you, and there's certain things they can't do to you, and a lot of people don't know that. Sounds good. That'd be good to know. Um, what, Jamil? Um, let's see. Well, this Monday we have um, guests. Um, how about uh, next Monday? Would that be okay? Hey, yeah. Any when, whenever, whenever you request, it'll any anytime you need me, I'll I'll be there. Just you know, if it's Monday, whatever time you want, just let me know. And then I'll be available 24-7. Really? Okay. Looks like uh, Monday is, um, Monday is, uh, it's around the 4th. Uh-huh. Um, that, is that, uh, are you going to be busy that day? No, no, I won't be busy. I won't be busy at all. You said 4 o'clock California time, right? It will be uh, 6, 6 p.m. California time. So it will be um, nine o'clock um, Eastern. You said oh, okay. You're talking about PM, right? Nine PM. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's wonderful. Nine PM Monday. I'll I'll definitely have that. I'll mark that down right now. And however long you know you you need me for that time, I'll be available no matter what. Oh yeah, I'll I'll give everything I got and, and try to keep it, you know, take it step by step and give them a real clear example of what happened to me. And I'm sure there'll be somebody there that may may have went through a similar circumstance as as I did to get into gang stalking. I bet you somebody there knows something about conspiracy or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of us do, for sure. Um, yeah. Well, uh, Yeah, uh, I'm very glad to have, have, uh, have talked to you and met you and everything. Oh yeah, wow. yeah, and, and I appreciate everything you you know you're doing and, and keep on the good work. You're one of the strongest people on the planet, and you know I'd like to leave you with nothing but uh, love and light. And I look, I really do look forward forward to this. Okay. Okay, great. Well, I will be in touch then, okay? Okay, you take care now. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay.